Hi. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome to the Kawaii Cast. Yes. Yeah, we are here with Stefan because it's our live stream for Patreon. Whoa. It's ju it's Crazy. just our live stream. Just, just our, our live stream. <laughs> It's not we Patreon just got anymore. done We're talking just got about this. <laughs> so, I'm yes. I'm excited because this is my favorite anime. Is this your favorite anime? Yes. I mean, it is my favorite anime. <laughs> my favorite anime. It's Homestuck. It's, I'm <laughs> <laughs> and Carly already ruined it. <laughs> I, I am in a favorite anime sandwich. You are. Let's make the favorite anime sandwich. <laughs> Oh my. Um, <laughs> so I, I've actually been looking forward to this. I binge watched all of Yu Yu Hakusho all over again in less than two weeks. I, I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I got three hours of sleep last night. He did. He was binge watching because got, I was binge watching it he's until finished with the two thirty in the morning, and then I woke up at five thirty and started right back up again. Yeah, he he's in the semifinals of the dark tournament right now. <laughs> This is actually, you have no idea how I dreamt for this episode. <laughs> this anime is the reason why I am the way I am. To answer your question from a couple weeks ago, Kaden, that is why I am the way I am is because of this anime. And, and, and I'm even what, wearing my Yu Yu Hakusho what, shirt. What was Kaden's question? What was my question? You asked me why am I the way I am. When? <laughs> <laughs> a couple weeks ago, apparently. <laughs> Kids like I don't remember this morning. All right. See, see, the best thing about her shirt too is it doesn't have either of their favorite. Yeah, voice on it, it does not have either of our favorite voice on it. It doesn't, which makes me all the more mad because I'm okay. I'm not okay, getting to be it. Fair, <laughs> I'm not getting it. To be fair, this hot topic actually does have a shirt with these two in the same pose, and it did add Karama and Kuwabara to it, but it's only available in an extra small. So. Yeah, and because someone makes them herself, you can't get that. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and they do have a Yusuke one that's available in my size, but I, I mean, I already have a Yusuke shirt. I've had this since high school. I've had this shirt forever. So. I, I'm, I'm, my pants are from high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. Nice. This this one used to be huge on me in high school. Like that makes me actually feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> like this was a dress on me in high school. There we go. There we go. So. But I'm pretty sure we did not actually come on here to go and talk about the shirts that were no. dresses on us. So. No. No. Okay. Yes. We're going to talk about why we love Yu Yu Hakusho. Right. Okay. So everyone's like, how was your first experience with getting Yu Yu Hakusho? Was it, was it pretty much the same for everybody? It was the daytime Toonami stream. Yep. Yeah. It was the yeah. same for everybody. <laughs> 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 There's, I'm, I'm finding out that everyone's gateway to Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, Inuyasha, Inuyasha, Roni Kenshin, and Dragon Ball Z were pretty much all this. Well, no, mine was different for Dragon Ball Z. Because oh. you, you had a mommy. You guys are young. You. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I, when I got into this stuff, you had to get the bootlegs out of China. I got the bootlegs out of China. <laughs> For Dragon Ball Z, I got my... I, there was a green tape, a yellow tape, and a red tape that you had to go and get. And just to make sure that you actually had them the right way, like the uh, the English dubs, the black... Like the, the little flip cover for the uh, for the actual reel, that part was black. If it wasn't, if it was any other color, that was only the 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 the, the raw file. So yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So we actually don't have a lot of time to talk about this, and I don't think an hour is long enough for me to talk about you, you Hawk Show. <laughs> so <laughs> we gotta get into this on track. because yeah, I mentioned I'm like an hour is not long enough. It's not <laughs> like I can barely cover like the first saga, which is like the shortest saga in an hour. Then go. Then go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, intro into the main character. Yeah. Yusuke Yurimish. Okay, so straight up, if you guys are not already into Yu Yu Hakusho, I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> you should have just already been it. It should have been like your rite of passage into anime if you were our age. Like. <laughs> so I, I have a question. <laughs> I have an answer. Is, is Yu Yu Hakusho an isi isekai? Because you think about it... <laughs> the last arc is! Because <laughs> you think about it, he gets hit by a car, he dies, and goes to the spirit world. Don't ruin this for me! 
Okay, so there are four major arcs to Yu Yu Hakusho, and to put it bluntly, it's kind of a sandwich, because you have the first arc and the last arc are just kind of your standard bread, but the Dark Tournament and Chapter Black are really what's good. Can we agree on that? Yeah, okay, yeah. well, basically, it's like, it culminates to the, honestly, the best part really is the Dark Tournament. In, I, in my in my opinion. That's fair, that's fair. Like, it actually is kind of 50-50 with most of the fans, like, Half the fans say Dark Tournament, the other half say Chapter Black, and you're not wrong either way, to be honest. Chapter Black's my favorite arc, but I really like how they did the whole thing like a horror movie. Yeah. Which was really cool, and I was way more into horror and stuff like that when I was in high school than I was into fighting, and I imagine the fighting was more your thing. It, yes, the fighting was my thing, you know, it being more of the horror movie-esque, which someone that doesn't like scary things, whatever, it was like, why did you ruin my, my good fighting anime <laughs> and whatnot? Because it's like, you think about it, at the exact same time, I also had Ronnie Kenshin and having Dragon Ball Z. So it was like, it was nothing but like, oh, fighting all day long, you know, so, yeah. yeah. Which is really gets the testosterone pumping. Well, you're, you're not look nine year old me could barely <laughs> handle it. All right, it was he, he was experiencing a lot of things for the first time. Yeah, and see, as somebody who wasn't super into fighting, I love the dark tournament. Like, see, I think the dark tournament was what got me to do karate. To be honest, for, yeah, I really wanted to get into martial arts because of Yu Yu Hakusho. But really, like Chapter Black was what sold it, and I think for me, it was such a unique writing experience for Chapter Black. Because if Yu Yu Hakusho had ended at the end of the Dark Tournament, it would have been a great anime. Mm -hmm. It would have been fine on its own if it just ended right there, because all the characters had completed their character arcs by the end of the Dark Tournament. Which was fine and good and great, but Chapter Black did something unique where instead of just being like, well, they're all developed, so we're just going to keep them going until like we just get bored of them, the Chapter Black series broke down their character arcs and reversed them. Yeah. All the progress they made in the Dark Tournament was stripped away from them in Chapter Black. Well, I think that's basically because Shonen at that like at that point finally understood how to develop characters yeah. as well. It's like when you think about you know you think about you know Samurai X or Rurouni Kenshin, where it's like you've got a great story, but it's almost like most of the character development stopped part way through. It's yeah. like you didn't get all that much of a backstory with most of them. Dragon Ball Z, there's very little character development. It's just people get stronger through getting hit. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and I absolutely love it. Okay, and it needs character the, development when you can punch things and, and that, scream. And that was the problem with Bleach too: is that Bleach hit that point where they had their full character development, and then it just plateaued for the rest of the show until they got bored with it. And Yu Yu Hakusho never did that. Well, it's and you think about like, okay, well, th that did happen, but then the manga part of Bleach actually kept on going and stayed interesting and relevant, whereas the anime side of it was just like, ah, eh, we're we're done, we're done. Yeah. Basically. You know, and I think it was mainly just because it was sucking money out and it just, it wasn't as profitable as they really wanted it to be the first, like, what, the first two seasons were, mm -hmm. were actually making money and then after that, it just started going down. Yeah, and then the reason why I would put the final arc in with the first arc as far as, like, writing goes is because by this point, a lot of people don't know this, but the creator of the mangaka was actually constantly in and out of the hospital near mm -hmm. the end of the Chapter Black arc. And at that point, he wasn't really confident that he was going to be able to write the story he wanted. He had all of these plans for, like, the last arc to be the longest arc, and to be the most developed arc for all the characters. Even Guobara, who was cut out of the last arc, he was supposed to have this huge arc in that final <laughs> season. <laughs> Sounds like someone's Sorry, not happy. Sorry, did not mean to open that wound, but I just wanted to point that out. Like, just how much was actually cut from his original draft. Because his fear was that he was actually going to die in the hospital and his series was never going to be finished. So for him rushing through that arc and getting all the character stuff just on the table mm -hmm. was more important to him than the quality that he had been producing up to that point. And it's really sad because I feel like the character Yomi was the one who suffered the most from it because he really was supposed to have a similar you know, feel as Taguro, where he was personally involved with one of the characters in his past, and then he was supposed to be, like, Yusuke's big rival because of that, but instead it was just like, oh, Kurama and I used to know each other, and now I'm gonna fight Yusuke. Yeah. And it, they stretched him in three different directions, and they also created the worst character in his son. I hate Shura. <laughs> <laughs> I literally hate Shura. <laughs> I met Aaron Desmuke in person, and I wanted to tell him I hate her. <laughs> you can't do that to someone. Like, I love you. I hate who you voice. Yeah. 
I mean, that's that's tantamount of basically Game of Thrones level hate. As I far feel as like the... he would have agreed with me, though. Because yeah. <laughs> Shura was a brat. And that's the reason why you hate children. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Honestly, like, Shura was such a brat. <laughs> I'm not even dumb. sure why he was there. Uh, <laughs> Carly, she's doing the thing and it hurts. <laughs> what thing? You know, the thing. The brain hurty thingy? Yeah, that just, thing. Just call her a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to do it publicly. <laughs> I, I reserve that hate for very special moments. Like someone right implying now. that my character might be a little trash. I, I never imply that Kobar is trash. It's just out of the main four, he's definitely my least favorite. He's, but He's not trash. He's just... Really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Not wrong. That's well, his charm. I think that was part of the reason I was upset about the last arc too, is because even in the manga, they really developed more the idea that during the time Kurama was coming back and forth between the demon and the human world, he was the reason why Kuwabara was so diligent in studying. Every time he was in the human world, he's just like, "All right, now we're gonna get you on the books. You are going to be studying like crazy the entire time I'm here." Gotta go back and train some demons. I'll be back in a month. We're gonna make sure you're getting into this high school. Don't look away from those books. Yeah. And what usually would always happen. He would yeah. never look over at the books and basically start bullying people again. <laughs> well, he actually developed a lot in that arc, and it was all just cut out. Even the whole idea that Kuwabara went to Karama's mom's wedding as moral support. The two of them were best friends in the last arc. None of it was shown in the anime. Yep. Nope. And it's so upsetting to me. And I'm like, there was so much... It was all cut out. Even, like, the whole, like, scandal in Spirit World was completely cut out of, out of the anime. Turns out Koema becomes the new ruler of Spirit World because his father was actually involved in crimes when it came to brainwashing demons and attacking humans. And he was actually kicked out of Spirit World and Koema became the new leader. Damn. Why was this... Ne- mm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so much left out. There was so much left out. No, instead, you just basically get to look at pretty boys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, the final arc, even in the manga, was cut super short. And again, because he was going through a lot of medical stuff. And the first arc suffers from the fact that it had an identity crisis. Like, he wasn't really sure what he was wanting to write. Well, and you can see that very apparently, where it's like, okay, first... First season, it's like what you're trying to understand the story, but it's not going anywhere and nothing's actually happening. Yeah. You know, so it's just that's usually the one where <clears throat> everyone sits there and goes like, well, I mean, I kind of skipped it. And well, then then there's, you know, there, there's the competition piece. And it's like, well, OK, yeah, sure. Dark, yeah. dark tournament. Yes, we get. But yeah, it's like everyone blanks out on the very first, you know, the very first arc. And it's not even that it was bad. <clears throat> it's just that, like I said, it really felt like it was suffering from an identity crisis. Uh, he wanted to create, like, a supernatural series, and he wasn't really even going for a fighting series at first. In fact, in the manga, the uh, ghost uh, saga where Yusuke was going around helping people as a ghost was actually a lot longer. And I think it was a smart idea for the anime to cut that down to, like, I think it was, like, only five episodes. Which made it a little bit, like, forgettable, but was also really smart because those chapters of the manga are awful. <laughs> read the manga. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> but it is kind of fun because there are moments in the manga that do reference other series that he was super into, especially Sailor Moon, because him and his wife Ooh. was the creator of Sailor Moon. That's right! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. One of, one of those weird things you don't think about. And, and it's something, okay, now does that explain a little bit of some of the art direction? Yes. You know, because you, you sit there and you look at you look at everyone's ungodly high waist. Yes. Okay, ridiculously long legs to the point where it's like you look at Yusuke. It's nothing but legs. Yeah. Legs he is nothing but legs. <laughs> now this makes so much more sense. Oh, dear There's God. There's even one point in the manga where Kurama just throws his rose and he's just like, you could just call me Tuxedo Mask. And it's so cheesy, but it's so great. Now, now I, now, <laughs> now I want to see fan art of uh, the Yu Yu Hakusho characters dressed up as Sailor Scouts. <laughs> so, in the last so, arc, you even that. see Koenma dressed as Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> which is great. God, who would Kuwabara be? Uh, Ludo. Uranus. <laughs> don't, 
don't, don't, don't do he, that to me. Don't do that to me. She, she went there. Don't do that to me. That's that's me. That's, it's evil hearted right there. Demon. I got my whole squad. She does. <laughs> Again. That's not fair. She used to have more. I used to have more. What, what is used to have more? Well, I used to have like that little Carlos Jr. Karama toy that you just push the button and you just spun around. He broke. <laughs> she spun him around no. too much. No, he broke when I was moving. It made me really sad. <laughs> sure. Judgment. The judgment is real. The judgment is real. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm judging. Okay, now Stop. we need to go and do this. <clears throat> Some of your favorite moments. Oh, okay, so my favorite moments are always the banters. See? The banters are the best part. Uh, I think my favorite banter in the entire series is when during the Dark Tournament when uh, they're playing cards, and all the girls come in, and they're just like, oh, you should, guys should play cards with us, and they're just like, yeah, and they all draw, like, hands, and Kovar's like, oh, I'm ready to play Go, you know, go Fish, it's gonna be amazing, and uh, then Grandma just turns to Hie and he's just like, come join us, Hie. We're practically a family over here. <laughs> and he's like, don't make me tear out your precious voice box. Why would you have to pick that moment? <laughs> that. <laughs> that. <laughs> That's what sticks out in my head so much. You know how long I was running around going like, I like go fish. I like goldfish too. <laughs> My I so, identify so, so, so hard with Kubara. So I'm I'm gonna have to pick on you a little bit more here. No. Uh, so far, uh, from what I've been watching, I actually haven't finished the series. So like I've gone through the dark tournament, and then like it's been so long, mm-hmm. I never finished. But so far, favorite moment would be uh, when Hie is fighting the one dude that gets the immunities to the attacks. <laughs> And so he's like, I don't like doing this attack. It lacks any style. And artistry. <laughs> and artistry. <laughs> he basically does Kuwabora's spirit blade. <laughs> and Kuwabora's like, are you saying that my spirit sword lacks tact and artistry? <laughs> <laughs> Just bluntly says yes. I will say, exactly. though, my, favorite, my second favorite moment, almost as good as the first one, is just... Bah! <laughs> I never get over that episode. And it follows into the next best part where Yusuke's like, Kurama and he are too smart to fall for your tricks. And he's like, yes, or say the word hot. <laughs> you gotta admit, my sarcasm definitely came from Kurama. It's so there. <laughs> Karoma's the reason I'm a sarcastic bitch, let's be honest. This <laughs> explains so much. <laughs> oh my god. What's your favorite moment, Stefan? You took it! <laughs> I told you! Running around, running around like fourth grade, going like, I like Go Fish too! <laughs> <laughs> like legitimately. <laughs> I'm dying. <coughs> okay, what's your second no. favorite moment? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the main one that I remember. It's like, it's like so stuck in my brain that as you're sitting there, like you were recounting the scene, and I'm going like, yeah, it's a bit like mine. That's, Wait a second. That's a that, bit like that's that's exactly that's a, like that mine. is mine. <laughs> It's a good scene. It's, Thank you. It's so it's, well written. All it right? really plays off of just like how their dynamic is going. Like, this is a group that would literally like take a sword for each other, but they're such assholes to each other. Well, and the fact that like he, who re- like is always basically bothered by everyone there, is still there. He's like, well, I don't want to not be here. You <laughs> know, a- so it's like you still see the family aspect to it. Yet they're all. Basically, they are the perfect representation of brothers. Yeah. Okay? It's something where it's like, they're all there. Someone wants to go and include all of them. Another one wants to be depressive and off over to the side. And then there's the pretty boy. So. Yeah, there's also the scene, like, just shortly before it, 
where Kuobar is like, oh, you guys should get Yukina to heal you. She's so great and beautiful. She's looking for her long-lost brother. I'm going to help her as soon as this tournament's over. And Kurama's like, yes, her long-lost brother. He ain't, we should help. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I bet you could lend an eye. And Kuobar is just like, what are you guys laughing at? I don't get it. I don't get it, yeah. It's, <laughs> do you see why I love Kuobar? <laughs> I honestly, Kuobar is such a lovable character. Sick. I don't want to give him shit. <laughs> Sad. I, I can't hate him. I do love Kuobara. I just keep, you keep on saying I it just, wrong. I just also love making fun of. Okay, him. speaking of saying it wrong. <laughs> speaking so, of saying it wrong. The movie. <laughs> she made me watch the movie last night. Okay. So the movie. Is not dubbed by Funimation. No, it's not. It's dubbed by a company called U.S. Manga Corp. So throughout the entire movie, they're calling him Kuahara. The best part is when Kuahara goes to fight, and he's like, I, Kazuma Kuahara, will defeat you. (laughs) It's so cheesy. I... Would rage quit the entire movie. No, 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 I'm no, no it's, I'm it's, it's in the class of so bad it's good. It really like, is like Batman and Robin watch, of Yu Yu Hakusho. Watch it with a friend, especially if you want to take a few drinks. I'm going to take drinks. <laughs> it's, it's good. Here's my impression of the Yu Yu Hakusho movie. We really need to get going. Let's go. End scene. I'm not even joking. <laughs> That's what the movie is like. It's not too bad in Japanese, but the English is definitely worth watching. This hurts. This hurts. <laughs> it's, Tyler mentioned it feels like a fanfic, and the one character is a self It does. It feels like a fanfic watching it. And they have, like, a shrine maiden girl who is the total self-insert character. This makes me feel good that I have not watched it. <laughs> I also want to take a shot every time during the Hiei battle, they say the word evil. <laughs> Look, he's his evil drawing, eyes. He's drawing out his evil with his evil power. His evil powers are going to draw out Hiei's evil intentions. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm saying is about to become evil. <laughs> this quite literally feels like they basically got the movie, didn't get any of script, like no translation whatsoever. We're basically like, Guess what they're saying <laughs> just from trying to watch, like, the raw footage of the movie. Go. Adelaide the other shit. drinking game for that movie is every time Karama says the word Corona way, because he says it so much. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. What, it introduces one of his old friends from back when he was a fox demon, and his name is Corona way. And that's who he's fighting throughout the movie. And he says the word Corona way so many fucking times. I'm like, we get it. You're gay for Corona way. Stop. No, okay. Is it Inuyasha Kagome levels? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> he's like bleeding out of his stomach. And he's like, Corona way. <laughs> also, there's a nude Karama scene in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are we talking butt, or are we talking? What are we? What are we talking? About? Uh, full frontal, but it's shaded out. <laughs> Say what? <Yeah. laughs> it's the only shirtless scene he gets in the entire franchise. <laughs> Prove me wrong. <laughs> you're, you're not. <laughs> well, Yoko gets a shirtless scene. Yeah, I, mean, I was about to say no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is I could have sworn there actually is not like an not like an onsen thing, but I could swore I've seen I've seen Karama with his shirt off and just a white towel. No, I swear to God. Yeah, I'm but sorry. he wears the white towel all the way up over his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it I, doesn't count. I promise you, there is no shirtless scene of Karama in his human form. I will take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 yeah, I will take your word for it. <laughs> you might be thinking of a different anime that had a similar character, though, because there was a lot during that time period. Not wrong. It could have easily been something from like Saint Seiya. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fair. Saint Seiya was pretty similar. Uh, but honestly, like, I get a lot of people say like you only like Crawl because he's hot. But honestly, I was a red-haired nerd who was suffering from depression in high school. Of course, I clung to Karama. <laughs> What does this explain to me about Kuobara, his orange-haired pompadour self? That you like to pick fights and lose. That you're an idiot? Oh my, either you right now. 
<laughs> Make- they're both correct. <laughs> <laughs> you like go fish. You, I like go fish. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I like what I like. Quit judging me. I'm not judging. I'm explaining. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, there's very few characters in Yu Yu Hakusho I hate unless you're supposed to hate them. The only Yu Yu Hakusho character I hate is Shura. Straight I'm blanking out on Shura. He's Yomi's kid. The obnoxious one's like, don't go easy on me, Dan. Okay, yeah. If you go easy on me, I'll never forgive you. And he's like, I could murder you. Do you want to die? And he's like, yeah, I'd rather die than you go easy on me. He's like, shut up, kid. You're not dying. You're grounded. <laughs> that was the whole fight. <laughs> go to your room. <laughs> Very climactic. <laughs> there that, go. I didn't understand Shura's role because they brought him in just so he could get his ass kicked. And then they're just trying to explain, like, oh, this is what Yomi was like when he was younger and used to partner with Karama. And I'm like, damn, okay, I forgive Karama now because if I hung out with that, I'd call a hitman too. You know? You're <laughs> so not the, wrong. That was the whole thing was that Karama was a bad person because he called a hitman on his friend. Because how do you end friendships? But I'm like, if he's that obnoxious, he deserved to die. I'm sorry. Yeah. He was a demon. <laughs> he, he, he deserves it. He de- yep. Yep. Are you saying all demons deserve to die? I if mean, we, what? prove me wrong. <laughs> if you're in a bad uh, my relationship, my boy Hiei. <laughs> he deserves to die. Prove okay, me if, wrong. Uh, <laughs> if Hiei was your favorite character in high school, you were an edge lord. Uh, excuse you, Hiei is my favorite character because I'm an edge lord. <laughs> <laughs> and top of the B B. Be- because he appeals to my Chunibyo side. You shark, shark, <laughs> you master. Piece of trash. <laughs> Can we also acknowledge the fact that he is just like, my full power causes me to open up eyes all over my body, and then he never uses it. Anymore. Never uses it once. <laughs> he used it in the movie. In the movie? <laughs> That's not helping the argument. And that was when he was becoming evil. <laughs> He can't turn evil what is already evil. <laughs> that was the solution, too. They were just like, he huh? can't be consumed by evil. He's already evil. Can I interject something? Because this yes. is hurting me. Oh, yeah. This is hurting me. <laughs> Go the fact it. that you said, by a company called U.S. Manga Corp. No, the company called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The U.S. Manga Corp was one of the original distributors of anime back when there was like, no budget and very little he's, following. He's, he's, just, exactly. he's just been back here like stewing in it for like 20 minutes. They, they brought like Project Aiko and that's when we're over. They brought the, some and of they the did a basic. terrible job with Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> yes, but the budgeting. Now, when the series came out and everything, when Toonami came out, it was already a thing. They already knew that they were going to make a profit and they had this huge budgeting to it. <laughs> but you have to thank the fact that <laughs> U.S. Magikarp brought, and, you know, Yu Yu Hakusho show the movie over we, we, because of that. <laughs> we, will give, we will give them the fact that it's over. Yes. I will forever be salty that my <laughs> character was not treated right. <laughs> No, no character was treated right in that movie. <laughs> in the in the movie or the last but, season, but, yeah, but no, that's sorry. not U.S. Magikarp's problem. That's not their problem. Okay. That's not their fault. They, they, they had just... they had to get <laughs> also, cheap translation and cheap voice actors. In their actually, their voice actors were pretty well cast. So I'm given that. <laughs> in their defense, there is something worse. There was a 30-minute OVA that was promoted over here in the U.S. as Yu Yu Hakusho the movie, even though it wasn't. It was only 30 minutes long. It was done by Anime Works, and it is the most god-awful thing. I've only seen it twice in my life, and the second time, I wish I were drunk. That's not what you showed me. What? what? No, that's not what you no, showed No, that's not what I showed what? you. Okay. What? That Watch was it a double you have... set. Yeah. Of two very poorly done. Yes, <laughs> yes, it was. yes. yes it was. Uh, That's one that I will also lend as define. Why would you hurt me? Because <laughs> I've seen it twice. You need to see it once. How okay, how much is this going to hurt? How, uh, many brain, how, how many brain cells do you have? Depends on left? how drunk you are. Hold on. 
Okay, Candace, what you just said was, I'm going to shoot myself in the butt <laughs> twice. You know what? You deserve a bullet in your butt. <laughs> That's exactly, That's what, exactly what you just said. Get drunk. I was not allowed to drink back then. You can drink now. You Wait, have no, the advantage. No, when she says drunk, she means like at least half a bottle of vodka. <laughs> it, so, this is not going to end well. <laughs> so what I showed you was the new OVAs, which came out last October, which were fantastically done. Yes. Yes. Uh, that one included the uh, uh, Story 2 shot, which was one of his like little bonus mangas that never got published in Shonen Jump. And that's about how he and Karama met back when Karama was a little junior high student. And then um, the other one was actually the second to last chapter of Yu Yu Hakusho that was never made into the anime. And those were both done so well, and I think hands down my favorite moment is when they're like trying to like Ocean's Eleven their plan, and Karam's like, "All right, we got to go beat up the guards, get into this room, replace the cameras, and change into their outfits in sixty seconds." And it shows the entire sequence in real time, and is brilliant. I need to rewatch this. I really, really do because like little parts. It's been just long enough where my my brain is starting to forget things. It's so good. It is. It's definitely worth the watch. Uh, now that I'm seeing like all the casting for Fruba come out, I'm just sitting there waiting for John Bergmeier's name to come up because then I'd be like, dub the OVA! You got the cast! Been dub con- the OVA! Been confirmed. <clears throat> because right now, Justin Cook is back, uh, Chris Sabat never left, and Chuck Huber never left. The only person we're missing is John Bergmeier. So what you're saying is we need to campaign for this. Yes! So you're saying there's a chance. Yes! A chance. Even if they could just get somebody close, I would be happy with it, because... I've got my character. I don't really care, yeah. so... <laughs> <laughs> I, and this is my character, and I would even be happy with just somebody that was willing to be close. If it just got dubbed by Funimation, I'd be so happy. I actually do prefer Kurama's Japanese voice, because... Okay, I will say this. That, honestly... Thinking back to a lot of those shows, now going back and just re-watching most of the Raws, mm-hmm. I actually only really like Yu Yu Hakusho for its Raw. Mm-hmm. I cannot stand Ruini Kenshin, and it's it's like it's actual Japanese oh, voice absolutely. cast. Yeah. I really, really do not like Dragon Ball, any of Dragon Ball's mm-hmm. uh, Japanese voice cast. Yeah. Okay. And, well... Gundam Wing actually had a pretty semi-decent one. There, there, were, there were a couple yeah. that were actually Have, have you also, tried watching Cowboy Bebop in Japanese? No. It's weird. I can't watch it in Japanese. I really can't. I don't can't. know, because Spike Spiegel's like, actual cadence, but speaking in, spoken in the Japanese accent would probably throw me off. Yeah. So, I do have a bias, though, with uh, Karam's <clears throat> Japanese voice, because she also sings the OP and three of the five ADs. Hmm... And I love her. She's also in a few other anime that I watched, and she always voices guys, and she's just fantastic. She's such a talented person. So, I have homework. <laughs> I'm looking forward to homework. But she did such a good job as Karamo. Like, I was always bothered by, like, how he refers to his mom as mother in English. I'm like, nobody talks like that. Like, really, nobody talks like that. You don't say mother unless it's sarcastic. Like... <laughs> I call my mother mother. Really? I do. I It just sounds so weird whenever it, I hear it. I, I'll admit it is kind of weird because I switch between mother and ma, but... At least you switch. Like, Karama always says mother in every situation. And I'm like, it just, it doesn't sound natural. It sounds forced. Yeah, and then there, there are so many times where it's like, other than, like, when I'm talking to you guys, I'll say like, oh, yeah, it's my mom. But when I'm actually around here, like, mother, is there something? And Tiff... Yeah, it happens sometimes, you know, so it, it's something where some people do it, but it's always going to sound weird. Yeah, I, it's just sounded more natural in the Japanese because it's like okasan. Okay. Because, like, that's just how teenagers talk. Like, it just makes more sense to me. And I'm not judging anybody who does call their mom mother, but anytime I would do it, it would be sarcastic. If I called my mom mother, she'd slap me. Thanks a lot, mother. <laughs> Like, one time she called me when I was in California, and she's like, let me talk to your sister. I'm like, Mother Dearest is on the phone, and she's like, I swear to God, she slapped me from two states away. <laughs> it's possible. 
<laughs> my dad is just like, she's going to murder you when you get back to Utah. I'm like, probably. <laughs> Worth it. Right. <laughs> okay, now, now sitting here thinking of the series, if you could finally go and get all the voice cast back, mm -hmm. what type of story would you want them to tell? Because that's the biggest thing where it's like, okay, they, they've, like, whose backstory, who's, like, who do we need to actually go into now? Um, not necessarily backstory, or but just I, what story? I really would love Chris Sabat to really go over Kuobara's story in The Last Ark. There's no reason to go over this story, okay? <laughs> there, there's, it's, I think it's gonna let a lot of people down. I really, like, truly, honestly, he's not, I love him to death. He's not a horribly complex character. All right. It's one of those where there's certain people where it's like, why look further back into their past? You got enough of the groundwork of he's making changes in his life. He's trying constantly to put himself forward and he cares more about friends and family than any, like he's incredibly loyal. Mm -hmm. Don't go into his past. <laughs> well, that's why I, I don't need Kulbar's past. I want, I want the story that we were denied. Okay. And I think that's because, like, to me, uh, Kurama's story was always there from the beginning. Like, mm -hmm. we got a lot of his story, like, you know, drip-fed to us throughout the entire series. And he probably is the most developed of the four, other than Yusuke. And then he, his story was treated with so much love and care in that last arc that I just wouldn't change a thing. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like we were robbed of, you know, a fourth character. And he's the one who needed it the most. Yeah, but, it, like, wouldn't you say that... <clears throat> that Kuwabara's story is more just the evolution of his journey currently, rather than... Oh yeah, absolutely. And that's why I said, I don't care about his backstory. Okay. I care about the story we were denied, and that is him going through high school, and what he plans to do in the future, and even his relationship with Yukina, which has developed, mm -hmm. and we didn't get a seat. Okay, okay, like, all right. We, we were absolutely denied a proper Kuwabara arc. Now, how, like, how would you want to see him develop? Because it's like, okay, he, he is, you see him calming down. He's taking a few things a little more serious, but he still understands his place on the team where he's never going to be, he's never going to be the heavy hitter. Yeah. He's always going to be an assist character. So it's like, how do you make a progressive story, a centralized progressive story about an assist character? That actually is a hard question, because I feel like it would end up feeling more like a slice of life <laughs> uh -huh. than a genuine Yu Yu Hakusho art. Exactly. That, that's why I'm like, there's, there would be so much that you'd sit there like, we're waiting for things to happen, and then when things finally do happen, it's like, we're focusing on the wrong person for this <laughs> and whatnot. So it's like, nah. that. That's why I've always thought of like, if I got it, I would want it just being nothing but like, no, he... We're just taking a step outside of everything. We're going to make you laugh. We're going to make you cry a little bit, but we're not going to show you action. Yeah. You know. Well, if we wanted an action arc, I would say I want to see Genkai's backstory. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. could just do another tournament arc. Well, not even that. Like, even if we just got an OVA series about, like, her life developing <clears throat> as a psychic. I like it. Yeah. That'd like be cool. It. Because her and Takara were probably one of my favorite character dynamics, honestly. And I love Genkai. Yeah. I'm about that. Yeah. I like that. Okay. <laughs> so, so Funimation, get on this idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I said it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, I mean, we're kind of wrapping towards time. Any any closing thoughts? I'd, we we did well. We did we not. Did do well. We did <laughs> We did not scream. I, I did not have to break you two up. It's. I'm telling you guys right now. You know, like one of. Let's see. This is. This has always kind of been like in the murmurings of the works, but mm -hmm. I think what actually solidified it was a drive home for for the two of us where <laughs> got heated. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it absolutely did. Uh, and that's the thing I didn't want because to me, Yu Yu Hakusho is so important. I did not want this to turn into like a bicker fest. Mm -hmm. As much as I love the banter between the two of us, <laughs> and as much as I love being a cold-hearted, sarcastic bitch, I just wanted this episode to be about why we love Yu Yu Hakusho and why other people should love Yu Yu Hakusho. Because it, it is my favorite series, and I could never hate anything about it except Shura. Right. <laughs> That's the trash you rag on. Okay, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at that one. 
So yes, as, like I said, as long as you leave, you leave my gentle, <laughs> soul caring, loyal idiot alone. <laughs> I will absolutely stay civil. Yeah, and I think it's hard for me to be critical about this series too. And I would love to do more episodes about Yu Hawk Show, breaking down each of the arcs. Especially the Dark Tournament and Chapter Black, because I love them both so much. We're going to do a Let's Watch series. Yes. We need to do this. Let, let's plan an episode per those two arcs, at least. Like, I don't know if we need a full episode for the first or last arc, but... If we could just talk, do a Dark Tournament episode, please. We're doing it. <laughs> well, no, this is now. I'm not... <laughs> it's, so it's, it's, it's a thing. It's, it's now being planned. It's in the works. Yes. Yes, so... <laughs> Uh, especially let us know what you guys want us to talk about if we do come back to the subject, because Yu Yu Hakusho is never going to be a subject I turn down, ever. So. Are you okay? <laughs> I can't yes, tell I can. what Brandon <laughs> just did right there. Tyler, do you have any final thoughts, because you are the one learning? I, I have thoughts. You thought? My my head is emptier than Kua borrows. <laughs> You thought I was going to be the one to piss you off. I know. <laughs> Sorry, Kua Harris. <laughs> I'm trying so hard right now. Don't do the trap. Don't, 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 don't do this to me. <laughs> God, you guys. <laughs> there we go. Well, yeah, that, like I said, I, I like... I like how we did this one. This is something we need to definitely do again. Yeah, I like uh-huh. that. Absolutely. So. <laughs> I, and I always, like, you even mentioned that, like, you wondered if you should step out just in case we start fighting, but I'm like, honestly, I couldn't do this episode without you because I'm like, I don't know very many people that want to talk about Yu Hawk Show as much as I do. <clears throat> we Well, I mean, we're, we're going to be having... We're going to be having our chances in the future. Yeah. I will say that much right now. <laughs> talk to me about Yu Yu Hakusho, Stefan, because I want to talk about it. Yes. This has been such a good trip down memory lane, just binge watching it. You need to get your binge on. <laughs> stop. No, you, I can't say stop for you guys. <laughs> just push more over to him. Okay. And then Tyler needs to finish his binge so he knows the horror that is watching Shura fight. So, yes. yes. Hate this child with me, please. <laughs> I I will probably hate him with the passion of a thousand burning suns. Good. That's all I ask. <clears throat> the sun is a myth. That's <laughs> there we go. Well, like I said, uh, so if you're if you guys are still watching, stick around. Um, we're we're probably gonna go and get some other things working. Re- Why? <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, we'll we'll be right back. So the 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 stream will close down for a little bit, but then we'll be right back at you guys. So bye. Yeah. Thanks, guys.